Hi beauties and welcome back to the Trisha Dillon channel. I know it has been a minute but we are back today and we are gonna do a BoxyCharm review. So today we're gonna be doing the BoxyCharm premium review. I know that I have been off of my BoxyCharm game. I have not done one of these since December. Yes, I did get January and February. I just did not film them and then by the time I was gonna film them it was too late so yeah we're gonna do the one that I got for March it's my birthday month so I'm excited about that and we got some really great items in our premium so let's check it out together So the first item that we have is some skincare. This is called Glow Skin Beauty. It's a beta clarity BHA drops. Um, it has salicylic acid in it. It has retinol clarifying serum. Um, and this is said to reduce pores, um, illuminate impurities, rebalances excess oil, and visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines pores while radiance promoting retinol smooths and revitalizes the skin. It's perfect for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Um, and this actually retails for $48. Directions apply drops directly after cleansing and toning two to seven nights per week or mix with other serums or moisturizers for a clarifying boost and avoid the eyes. So this is like something that you really put on um, more so um, at nighttime, it looks like this. It's like got this kind of yellow consistency to it. I'm excited to try this. Um, yeah, I got an amazing toner in my last box from pharmacy that I absolutely loved. So I might try this after using that toner after I clarify, purify, and wash this mug right here. <laughs> All right, so again, that is from Glow Skin Beauty and it retails for $48 and it's a new launch item. Our next item up that I'm really excited about is this Becca Ultra Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. So it's full coverage liquid foundation. Um, it's water and transfer resistant, wears with a breathable natural finish. This retails for $44. So they sent me shade bamboo. So let me get you the tea on this. I used to use Becca foundation when they first launched their foundations and I actually loved it. But the issue that I had with them is that the shade range for me just did not work. The color that I was working only worked when I was super, super tan um, during summer. So we're going to go ahead and try this on. I can't wait to try this. I am y'all. I am praying that the shade matches me. I am extra light right now because I've been out here in these Nebraska streets. I don't know, it just looks promising though. Okay, so I'm excited. Let's shake it up and give it a whirl. Put some right there. Ooh, you know, it is fresh, fresh. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this pump. I don't know if it's just like because it's so new, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this two ways. I'm gonna do this half of my face with a sponge and I'm gonna use this half of my face with a beauty brush and we're gonna apply it both ways and see what we think about this foundation today. All right, so this is, yeah, this is full coverage. This, feels pretty thick. I did not put like any foundation on under any. Becca's foundation definitely has like a very distinct kind of smell to it. Um, for anyone who's ever used it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I can't really explain it, but it definitely has like a makeup y smell to it. I'm not mad at this color foundation. I'm not. I think it matches my skin tone pretty good. What do you guys think? Damn, 
and boo. Okay. I like the fact that it is like a little bit darker because like I said, right now I am really, really, really not tan. So as I get a little bit darker, as spring comes, I'll be good. Okay, so that applied pretty nicely with the beauty sponge on this side. It's not like patchy or anything. It's definitely a pretty full coverage. It's a thicker consistency. Now I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna dip in. Let's see how this works on this side. Okay, so I definitely feel like I'm getting more coverage with the brush as far as like using more product. But look at that, like, you're definitely gonna use more product with the brush with this. Um, but honestly, I like it. Okay, Becca. So again, this was the Becca 24 hour, and this is full coverage foundation, and this retails for $44. I'm excited. I'm definitely going to be using this this summer. Um, I'm gonna pause y'all because the rest of the stuff that we have is like lipstick and eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do the rest of this face and I'll be right back. Welcome back. I have put on some powder and did a little bit of contour. And after I did all that, I think I really like this foundation. Um, it has like a really nice just blended look. It's smooth. It's cute. I like it. All right, so our next item up, we have brushes. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had some brushes in our set. So this is Beauty Diva London Diva Eye Brush Set. So this retails for $48, which seems very expensive. Perfect your eye look with this cruelty-free brush set from eyeshadows and eyeliners. So we have four brushes. I don't know if you can see them really on the plastic. Next item up that we're going to be talking about is the Kypris. This is a serum and primer with a shimmer palette set. So it comes with this illuminating primer for it. So these are the colors, the shimmers that come in it. Um, I think today I'm going to be using this really pretty um, golden brown on this eye here and then we're going to do something different with other eyes so we can see what they both look like. So since we have this eye primer um, with this for the shadows, I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand because I already kind of um, just went for it with the eye situation. So we're going to put some there and I am going to dip in with my brush on the eye primer before I go into that bronzy shade. And then I'm just gonna pick it up on my brush like so. I'm just gonna go right in here over it. Nice and easy. And this is pretty pigmented. Do you guys see that? Um, it's interesting because this is not exactly the color that I thought was going to come out. It came out like kind of a much lighter golden vibe. Okay, cute. Okay guys, so on the other side I'm going to do something totally different. We're going to go in with our Pastel Rose Huda Beauty Palette. This is one of the items that I got in my last boxy charm that I did not share with you guys, so I'm going to try to incorporate that in here today because I love this palette. It is so cute with cute spring pastels. And we're going to go in and lay down this really cute um, purple shade right here. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that cute little light pastel color down, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this Kypris primer and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand like that. It's like this gooey gel consistency. We're going to go into this really pretty shade right here. Just go over right here for a little kick up. Hmm. You guys even really see that like just like a really pretty like light frost color. Hmm. Pretty chill. 
So on this side we have the brown color, on this side we have like that lighter pink color. You know, I gotta say like, I didn't love these. Sorry, not sorry. These just weren't my favorite. Um, okay, so that set uh, sells for $145 with the primer and this. So it says this pairing packs technology forward skincare first illumination and shimmer. The illuminating eye serum and primer creates an optical illusion of a brightened eye area while the shimmer palette offers an active buildable shimmer for your eyelids and skin. This set is made exclusively for BoxyCharm is not for resale. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I would not pay $145 for this. I just, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't do it. I would not pay $145 for this. Not worth it. Not a fan. And while we're at it, let's talk about this brush that really quick. It's cute, but I wouldn't use this every day. I think this is the brush set that like you throw in your travel bag. Um, for whenever you randomly need it for like a girl's night out or maybe the brush set that you like keep in your car, in your console in case you need like a quick touch up. But these brushes would not be my go-to brushes by any means and they retail for $48. All right, let's move on to something more fun. I am actually really excited about these next couple of items. So we have from House Laboratories. This creamy, high pigmented lip pencil balances precision with one stroke. It's a demi matte payoff to slay your lip um, look every time. Comfortable, long wear formable formula was made to outline with ease or fill in for all over colors. Um, and this retails for $60. I am pretty sure that this is Lady Gaga's um, makeup line and I have been dying to try it because I am a huge Lady Gaga fan. I just watched her documentary the other day and let me tell you, Lady Gaga is a boss. Yes, I said it. She's a boss, okay? And she's been in this makeup game for a long time, the music game for a long time, and I love how she always reinvents herself and gives us something new and fresh. So let's zoom into these lips and see what we can do. Okay, this is a really pretty color. I'm really excited to be doing lips because it has been so long. We've been wearing these masks now for almost a year and it's been so long since I have put anything on my lips, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be pairing it today with this bad boy right here that we got. So this is the Rowan Beauty Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm. This is a non-sticky alternative for classic lip gloss. I am so here for that. Um, this liquid lip balm smooths the lips as it nourishes, regenerates, and repairs. Formulated with mango and grapeseed oils to hydrate and protect, it provides the high sheen of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm, and this retails for $26. And the color that they sent me is called Charlie. He bet me, Charlie, he bet me. That's what it makes me think. All right, so let's come back into these lips and see what we're working with. Mmm. Uh-huh. That is really sheer. So, first of all, this smells like peppermint. It has a very strong peppermint smell to it. Let's see if it's buildable. The shape of the applicator. It's really cute. Okay. All right, it's cute. So this is very surprising. I am really surprised at how sheer this went on, but it feels so smooth. Like I would probably definitely use this as a lip topper. I think I would have actually paired this like with a matte lipstick and then put the gloss on top of it. But I absolutely am obsessed and love 
this um, lip liner. I think the color is perfect and cute. I think it will match a lot of different things. Um, so again, that lip liner retailed for $16 and then the lip balm retailed for $26. All right, so let's recap really quick. I'm gonna tell you the items that I absolutely positively love to start off with. So definitely love would purchase again is the Becca 24 hour foundation. I have never received a foundation from BoxyCharm before and I was so nervous that they were gonna try to color match me but I think they did a good job, okay? So if anyone's curious, I'm shade Bamboo, and I love this. Next, I love the House Laboratories. I love the lip liner. Raving went on smooth, very precise, beautiful coloring. I would definitely buy more from this line, and I think this is a great way to introduce it. I love this. Just surprised that it was so sheer, but would definitely repurchase. The Kypris was a bus for me. Um, I never would purchase this for $140 some dollars um, and I wasn't that impressed with the performance of the shimmers. The Beta Clarity Drops by Glow Skin Beauty I'm really looking forward to using. I have not tried yet but I think it will be fabulous. So for um, those who were wondering I was, let's see, variation, what does this say? It says PM with a heart. So that's interesting because normally it's like a number, um, but it's C2103216A-PM with a little heart. I forgot to tell you. So the theme of this month's boxy charm was Lucky Charm, which I love because I don't know if you all know this, but I was born on St. Patrick's Day. So I'm all here for the look of the Irish. And that wraps up our BoxyCharm Premium this month. I did not do the base box this month because I'm getting ready to move and I have so much makeup and I don't have anywhere else to put it while I'm here in Nebraska. So once we get back to San Diego to our regularly scheduled program, then we will have more room for um, some beauty boxes. But in the meantime, we're just gonna be rocking these premium reviews and I hope you guys enjoy this comment let me know what you got in your boxes what you're loving this month what you're looking forward to getting and i will see you beauties next time Mwah. love you guys